kicking off UFC fight night. It's a good one, meet your boy, the Beverly Hills Ninja, Jordan Wright, taking on my boy, Power Bar, Marc-Andre Barriot. And this should be a good one because the last time we saw the Beverly Hills Ninja, he was getting absolutely slept by my boy, Bruno Silva. It was first round, under 90 seconds, not even close. And uh, I thought that that was kind of a setup for Bruno Silva. You, you kind of thought that uh, Beverly Hills Ninja might not be able to um, win a, such a high caliber fight in in that regard, but uh, he th he's getting a more manageable opponent, I should say, in this one against the Power Bar. Who similar story? Last time we saw him, first round KO lost by Chidi and uh, Enjo Kwani, and uh, I remember you were all over that one. 16 seconds in, additionally, not even close. So two guys both coming off recent KO setback losses, but they did have some wins before those recent losses. I mean, if you look at Power Bar, he had picked up two straight, took out Abu Azaitar. Finished him late and uh, took out Dolce Lungi and Bala, which was a, a nice unanimous performance by him. And then when it comes to Beverly Hills Ninja, his UFC wins are Jamie Pickett. And uh, when he made his debut against Hurricane Ike Villanueva when Hurricane season was clearly over. So what are your thoughts on this one? Both guys getting an, uh, getting an opportunity to rectify a recent KO loss. You're rolling with Beverly Hills Ninja or are you taking the power bar? You know, I got to go with the Beverly Hills uh, Ninja in this one. You know, I think Beverly Hills is a bigger, stronger, faster, um, just better stand-up fighter than Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And Chitty Chitty Bang Bang absolutely slept the power bar. Just, you know, took him with a Captain Crunch 1-2. And I think that's where, uh, you know, um, Beverly Hills... Uh, is absolutely going to do some karate level type stuff with a spinning wheel kick, maybe even an axe kick and knockout. I'm expecting great things from this guy. I'm very bullish. This is my boy, if you guys already know. So I got to pick him first round knockout. Yeah, he is fast, right? He's got a lethal stand up game. Uh, that's definitely where he's uh, trying to keep this fight. And then conversely, we know that the power bar is going to try and pressure him up against the cage, likely mix in some takedowns, just make it ugly, make it gritty, uh, you know, close that distance immediately because I got to imagine that Mark andre is going to have the sort of clinch and grappling advantage when it gets there, but you're right, for as long as it stays at range, Jordan Wright has... Uh, a, a definite array of strikes that he can unload on the power bar and it was a little bit concerning to see power bar get absolutely slept like that against chitty chitty bang bang for sure and if we look over at topology 60 60 percent is rolling with the beverly hills ninja 40 percent is rolling with power bar a lot of brown both ways you think jordan wright uh if and when he does win you think it's by finish yeah, I think it has to be by finish. Um, you know, Power Bar is definitely a good opponent. This is a good level test for both of these fighters. But uh, I just think Beverly Hills, you know, uh, he's a little bit younger. He's a little taller. He's got big reach, so he should have all the advantages. The only thing I worry about is, you know, we really don't know too much on the Beverly Hills Ninja's grappling. And I imagine Power Bar might have the upper hand, but I just don't know, to be honest. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if that ever hits the mat. But I kind of see this being an absolute slugfest, possible KO of the night, possible fight of the night. This is definitely one you guys don't want to miss, to be honest, if you guys don't know about these guys. Yeah, you don't want to miss it for sure, and you bring up a great point because the only time we've seen Jordan Wright lose, it's been by finish, right? Whereas the power bar is a guy who will go out there, grind you out, make fights ugly, extend them, and win decisions. So it'll be interesting to see if Jordan Wright, if he does lose this, perhaps it's by his first decision. And honestly, me, I think that that's where I'm going to go in this one. I'm taking the power bar. Uh, I just, I, I'm a little worried about the early moments of this fight, but. I think if he can survive that first round, Power Bar has got a nice gas tank, and I think he's going to be able to just sort of grind out a nice decision over the Beverly Hills Ninja. So I'm rolling with the 40% who is back in the Canadian Power Bar, and it looks like he's a slight favorite as well. So another one of those interesting scenarios where the topology numbers are skewed one way, whereas Vegas is singing a different tune. So I got the Power Bar. Any last thoughts? No, yeah, I totally understand, and uh, but yeah, I got the Beverly Hills Ninja. I I kind of like that topologies there with me. Um, uh, but yeah, one of these guys are going to sleep. Throw in the comments who you guys got. Power Bar is going to sleep, or the Beverly Hills Ninja is going to sleep.